All right, today we're going to continue the 5D process. Today you learned how to use the 5D process. Today we're going to do a few more problems um, for your homework. Well, for your, yeah, as part of this video, you're going to actually do a couple problems. We're going to go through the first one together. So let's take a look at the first problem together. And that problem is 376 down here. A scaling triangle has three unequal sides. The medium length, the side right here, the medium side, is seven centimeters longer than the shortest side. The longest side is twice as long as the shortest side. The total of the perimeter is 39. What are the lengths of the sides? So let's set this up first. If we click right in here, this should make sense that we don't know what the shortest side is. They're comparing everything here. They compare the medium side to the short side, but we don't know how long the short side is, so we call the short side X. They compare the long side to the short side, but again, we don't know what the short side is, so another reason why we call the short side X. The medium side being seven, uh, seven centimeters longer, we'll call that X plus seven, seven centimeters longer than the side we don't know. And then the long side, which is twice as long, or two times as long as the side we don't know, so that's why we get two X. Hopefully that makes sense. You'll notice over here on the answer, we put down that we're looking for our goal of 39 centimeters. So what are the lengths? Well, like yesterday, you would start plugging in numbers for the short side until you get there. I'm going to take less time doing that today, and I'm going to just pull them all up. Here were my guesses. The first time I guessed was 5, so I had 5, 12, and 10. So when I added those up, I got to 27, which was too low. So I better get bigger. So I tried 10. I had 10, 17, and 20. When I added up 10, 17, and 20, I got 47, which was too high. I happened to get lucky on my third guess here, an 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. 8 times 2 is 16. When I add those up, I got to 39. Yay, I got my problem done. So have that in your notes. And then the next page we're going to do. The next problem we're going to do, I'm only going to help set it up for you. You're going to do more of this one. Travis and Angela were playing a guess my number game. Angela told Travis, I'm thinking of two positive numbers. The difference of my numbers is 4. The product of my number is 96. You should all know that the word difference means to subtract. So one number is four digits larger than the other digit. The product, or the word of, both product and of mean the same thing. They mean to multiply. So when you take these two numbers that are four digits apart from each other, when you multiply them together, you get a product of 96. So now you're supposed to guess the numbers. So I'll help you set this up here. I've got my X number, which is my lower number. I've got my Y number, which is my higher number. The difference is 4, which I put over here as one answer. The product is 96, which is another. You are now going to set up this table, and you're going to answer this. So pause the video now for a second and answer that question. When you come back, I'll expect you'll have your answer, and I'm moving on to the next one. So pause the video now. We'll be right back in 3, 2, 1. All right, we're back. You should have that answer. I'm actually not going to show you the, num the answer to that. I'm going to check that answer when you come to class tomorrow. We'll move on to the last problem. On the last problem, the Porter Valley basketball team did not record how many baskets each player made during their last game. Jenny remembers that she made three times as many baskets as Grace. Well, how many did Grace make? We don't have a clue. That should be a clue. Grace should be set up as your X. Alexis knows that she made six more baskets than Grace. Joan thinks she made four fewer baskets than Grace. And Tammy is sure that she made the same number as Joan. So that would mean Tammy and Joan would both have the same equation set up for them. Although the five players made 40 baskets, so that gives you what your answer is over here. How many baskets did each make? Now, how many columns should you have here? How many basketball players were they talking about? They talked about five players. So you should have five columns here. Set up each of their equations for them. And you should know that Grace is your X because Grace is the one everyone's compared to, but we don't know how many she made. So go ahead, set this up with your five columns, answer it, and again, just like the last problem, I'm not giving you the answer. This is what you're going to come to class with tomorrow with your answer for these last two in particular. 
Good luck on that, and we will see you tomorrow.